Well, hello, soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is... Uh, Monday, July 29th of 2024. So happy Monday to all of you out there. I hope you are all doing marvelous on this wonderful day. <laughs> all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you found this video is when you're meant to hear the message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. So, all right, let's get into it. So... Yeah, I've just been feeling good. I've been feeling good. Like, I mean, I feel very, like, content. I'll just say, like, just content. I feel like I'm, like, trusting the process. I am, like, just knowing that there are things ahead, but... Just allowing myself to be patient and guided. And so that's kind of what I'm feeling the collective is kind of going through. You know, we're all in this shift. Like, we're literally all in this together. And so every single person's shift is different. But it is still a shift nonetheless. And so, ah, yeah, we're all going through this together. But it feels like this shift is amazing and it's meant to bring us into our into our full power our full potential like yeah like the the highest like <laughs> I've been referring to it as like my Yokozuna era era and I don't like if you I don't know you have to I don't know if you watch sumo wrestling or anything but I've mentioned that I started watching sumo wrestling and I love it. Um, but yeah, the Yokozuna is like the highest rank that you can get, you, you can achieve in sumo wrestling. And I feel that we are, you know, if you're on this journey, you've been doing your work, you've been, you know, doing your manifesting, doing your clearing and all of that. I feel that we are entering our Yokozuna era where we're entering like, into like our highest and best version of ourselves so I love it so stay tuned for what that means how it looks because it's I feel like it's a process that's that will be unfolding for you know like years to come like it'll just keep getting better and better and better so yeah all right, so our affirmation today is from the secondary chakras, palms of the hands. Check out the healing symbol. Number 109, I skillfully shape my works. I skillfully shape my works. So the secondary chakras, palms of the hands have to do with our physical contact, you know, like with the world, the way that we physically interact with the world, the palms of the hands. This is, you know, we go through the world, we touch different things. That's how we, you know, get a texture and get a feel for it. So this being, we skillfully shape our works. This is the way that we are interacting with the world like the way that we are creating things that interact with the world that's how I'm feeling that and so whatever it is that you are skillfully shaping so it's like with me is you know the videos like this is me skillfully shaping my works this is how I am physically you know in like in contact with like the world you know I'm doing this by way of doing these readings and so yeah for everyone else you know it's different for everyone so however it applies to you you will know after we read this perhaps it'll trigger some things within you so that you know <laughs> okay I skillfully shape my works meaning sometimes we think that we have no special skills but there's no reason why we shouldn't be skillful at what we do. Working with this chakra affirmation will show you the path to yourself. How is skill related to this? 
If you allow yourself to create truly from the essence of your being, you cannot be anything other than skillful. This is meditative shaping and acting. You will always be unskilled if you compare yourself to others, if you want to act like someone else. In this state, you are not with yourself. You do not take yourself seriously. How can you be skilled if you do not use your innate talents? Only when you walk your own path and mainly do what comes easiest to you, what you can do best, will you experience everything that is inside of you. Healing Stone, Amethyst, Jet, Fragrance Essence, Pepper, Bach Flower, Centauri, and Vervain together. So, ah, uh, yeah, we all have gifts. We all have things that we are really good at. And it's really about us tuning into the things that we're really good at and allowing that to work for us. Think of what it is that you love to do the most in this world. Like, what is it that you just love to do? Now, ask yourself if there is someone in the world that is doing that thing that is getting paid for it. So, if there is someone in the world that is doing something that you love, that is getting paid for it, or, you know, making a, making a living out of it, then you would be able to do the same thing and you would be operating out of the energy of love. And so thus you would be doing it in your own version, your own way, and you would be successful in it because you are operating from a place of, uh, like a higher place within yourself and not a place of obligation or necessity. So it's about us tuning into what it is that, you know, makes us or what it is that we love to do, what it is that we can see ourselves doing and allowing like our souls and our hearts to guide us. Like what makes you truly happy? you know, and so we should all be tuning into that energy of what are the skills that we can offer the world. So yeah, everyone, you know, it's all different. We all have a different piece to the puzzle, but when we put it together, it makes a beautiful picture. So we just have to find our piece. Like what is, what is the piece? What is the part that you are playing? So you know, tune into your own, like, tune into yourself, tune into your heart, tune into what is it that you love to do, find that thing that brings you happiness and joy, and start growing from there, so, ah, uh, lovely, so this has been another of our affirmations, I hope you all found something that resonates with you, and if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up, and whether or not you subscribe to the channel is completely up to you. I appreciate those that are here, though. So if you are subscribed, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. So with all of that, I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you all in the next one.